design, fabrication, optimization, and testing of guidance of reversible foam turbine. Our group members are Nobin Bhatt, Sakar Bhattrai, and Sarad Basnet. Our supervisor is Dr. Shailesh Titrakar. Now I would like to go in our uh, project. Previously, there were, uh, we had a turbine, a reversible foam turbine, with that, which had NACA 2412 profile. Uh, it was not uh, suitable for pumping mode of operation, so we changed its profile uh, to, uh, to, and made it vertically symmetrical. Uh, then we, we verified our, this was our hypothesis, we verified our hypothesis using ANSYS software. Uh, then we fabricated our product after, it was, uh, after our hypothesis was verified. Then, uh, after the after fabrication, we replaced all of uh, existing guidelines, uh, uh, Naga 2412 guidelines, uh, by our uh, new guidelines, and then we proceed towards the testing. Uh, testing in turbine mode was successful, but in pump mode, we, we got failure due to uh, problem of priming. The near about, uh, our budget was near about uh, 7500 Nepali rupees. Myself, Prisas Gautam, and I am from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Hall India 43 student. And I have completed my project in third year. And the project title of um, title is uh, Design and Fabrication of Pico Propeller Turbine. The, group, the project group members are me, myself, Vishal Magai, Prasant Kuro, and Asma Bhattrai. The objective of my project are to design and fabricate the Pico Propeller Turbine with a head of 1 meter and uh, the flow rate of 25 meter per second. And another objective is uh, to, to develop uh, the optimum roller with an efficiency of 75, and 75 to 85 percent is the significance of my project are uh, easy to manufacture at a small industrial scale and optimally uh, operated at a uh, head of 2 meter 2 and the limitations of my project are difficult to assemble and we didn't use uh, draft it because uh, our channel is open and so that that might decrease the uh, efficiency by Five to eight percent is, and and we have calculated our power that is two forty five point five watt, which is uh, which is used in uh, rural uh, rural electrical demand up to two fifty watt, and thank you. So hello everyone and namaste. I am Solim Morrison representing my group here today. So the project that we did last year was titled Modi Design Modification and Fabrication of Drafting for Existing Reversible Pump Turbine. So the, we were uh, four members, me including uh, including me myself, Solim Morrison, Pawan Lal Bizuche, Pratik Stresha and Prasit Sakota. We are supervised by our teacher Dr. Soilis Chitrakar. So talking about reversible pump turbine. It is a hydraulic device that can work both as a turbine as well as a pump, uh, depending upon the situation. And it is a very novice concept which has uh, great applications and it has great potentials in the context of our country. So, talking about our project, uh, the initial works of our project were done in a paper uh, by uh, Dr. Soilis Chitrakar, E.R. Uh, Ravi Koirala and E.R. Niroz Moharsan in a paper entitled Design of Reversible Pump Turbine for its Prospective Applications in Nepal. So there uh, a reversible pump turbine, a model of reversible pump turbine was made uh, for its application and implementation in Silimia Hydropower Project. So the project, uh, so the turbine which was made it very good in a turbine mode having an efficiency of greater than 88 percentage in uh, base efficiency point. However, the RPT did not do much good in pumping mode because it was not able to provide the suction heat which was required for the Chilim Hydropower Project. So we generally started our project by channeling our focus on how to mitigate the problem related to the pumping mode in the associated with the reversible pump turbine. So initially uh, we uh, took uh, our challenge by uh, going uh, by focusing on the draft tube of our RPT on how we can modify the draft tube and how we can maintain the shocks and head by changing the dimensions of the draft tube. So Initially, we modified the draft tube based on the theoretical calculations and after that we did ANSI simulations on the draft tube and finally we tested the whole uh, setup of RPT alongside our newly modified draft tube in a test rig present in the turbine testing lab and from all of these we found out that our model or this uh, reversible pump turbine with our new existing with our new modified draft tube was able to provide a suction head of around 12 meters uh, uh, 
uh, without any effects of cavitations too. So this is the brief overview of our project which we did last year. Now talking about reversible pump uh, turbine, it has great potentials in the context of our country. Uh, this is because if we contemplate the situations of uh, uh, the hydropower projects in our country, most of them are uh, runoff river type projects. So during monsoon season when there is excessive rain uh, and the discharge of the water will be high, so there will be high production of power. But during dry season, the situation is just opposite because uh, in, such, in those cases, the water runs dry and we will have less power. So instead of those uh, runoff river type projects, if we implement uh, these storage based uh, RPTs, we can store this excessive amount of water which we receive in uh, wet seasons into some dams or reservoirs by using the pumping mechanism of RPT and uh, when the dry season occurs we can use that water that we have stored into producing useful energy. So I hope this uh, project will have much better future in Nepal. Thank you. Namaste everyone, we are the uh, third year students of Kassan yeah. University. Uh, Department of Mechanical Engineering and here we are going to give little information of our third year project and uh, we had two project members which is Shan Thapa and he is Asal Lama and our project supervisor was E.R. Dadiram Dahal sir. Uh, what is so what is hydro, uh, DDS hydro turbine? So it is a hydric kind of turbine which, which means that it does not uh, require dams and in Nepal there is uh, abundant free flowing rivers so uh, we can uh, install uh, this uh, project in all free flowing rivers and it is a community level best project so uh, it requires uh, its economy is also less and its uh, geometry is also very much easier so for further information i would like to pass to Asalam. so it was designed for rosicola panauti and um, the data were extracted from the software known as kubelet and the various data for the velocity or the flow speed of 1.5 meter per second is uh, efficiency of 40 percent found at uh, TP speed ratios of 4. So this data can be useful for designing the <coughs> control system. Thank you. Hello everyone, Namaste. Me, Ramisa Siyadav. And our project title is Design, Fabrication and Testing of Working Model of Petrol Turbine. And in this project, we are four group members named Raman Budaswaki, Indra Samak, and Sabin Wali. And our project supervisor is uh, Dr. Virasin Thapa. Right. Talking about the uh, abstract of our project, we aimed at developing a uh, built in turbine um, with an efficiency of greater than 70%, and that will be producing almost 78 watts. Um, the main significance of the project was to develop a model that will be cheap enough and that will avoid excessive costs of casting and will be handy uh, if we need to test, um, test its efficiency um, in, a, in a low budget. Um, at the completion of the project, we have developed, uh, we have been able to produce almost 67% efficiency and producing almost 58 watts um, for, uh, for against the head of 4 meters. Um, testing the efficiency, we had plotted uh, the graph of efficiency versus uh, RPM and um, the discharge was varied for variable RPM. Thank you. Hello everyone, it's me Sangeet Patel and I am here to give the introductions about the, our project. Uh, uh, so with three group members, it is myself Sangeet Patel, uh, Jivan Prakash Bhatt and Rao Subedi, with the supervisor, <coughs> Professor Bola Thapa, uh, did the project on the title of Fabrication of Francis Runner using local casting process and analysis of mechanical properties of materials. So basically, turbine is generally made <laughs> by the stainless steels. Adaptability of the local materials and the local processes has not come in market commercially yet. Uh, based on literature review in Nepal, Heva <laughs> Hydropower has been using the uh, Francis type of turbine of the brass materials. 14 kW of Francis runner using local casting processes, uh, in which was investment castings in the local materials, which was brass, uh, which was from the scrap of the cylindrical bars, has been done by the detail. 
So, we just observed the uh, casting processes done by the TTLs and in the first item of, this, the, uh, of the casting processes, uh, there was uh, different failures appeared in the different uh, failures uh, and the cause of these failures were studied in, uh, in the second item of the casting processes uh, of model of the Francis runner has been uh, done by the TTL. So for our project, uh, for analyzing the properties of the mechanical properties of materials, we took the sample materials from the runner in either part of the <coughs> runners uh, of the Francis runner and uh, uh, specimens were made. Our project is mainly focused on our local materials can be adopted uh, to make the Francis runner. So uh, by TTL, 14 kW of Francis runner using local castings processes, investment castings same local materials brass uh, has been done. Uh, there was the two attempt of the castings for making the runner of the Francis runner. Uh, we just observed the castings processes, casting defect and uh, <coughs> cause of the failure of the castings defects in the first attempt. In second item, complete uh, model of the Francis runner has been done by the TTL. Uh, for analyzing the properties of the materials, so we took the samples from the uh, runner in either part of the uh, Francis runner and then specimens were made based on the STM standard. So, the properties like tensile strains, compressive strains, phreatic strains, charpy impact strains and the microscopic structures were uh, done in our project. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nirmal Subedi and my project title is Computational and Experimental Study of Gravitational Water Vortex Turbine. And my project members are um, Malin Kaisto, Sundesh Gising, Prashant Raut, and our supervisor is Mr. Radhanam Kaisto. So, we found that uh, the maximum efficiency is at the lower uh, part of the casing, that is uh, around 84 cm below the casing head. And uh, the theoretical power, uh, we calculated, uh, we take the head of 1.28 meter and the flow of 6.2 liter per second and we calculated the theoretical power and it was around uh, 78 watt and experimentally uh, we found the power around 8.16 watt uh, it was uh, around 11 percent uh, this is due to some problem, um, problem there were leakage, larger length of shaft and the air velocity at the outlet, these were the problems so the efficiency was decreased uh, and the CFD efficiency or the computation efficiency of the project was around 35% uh, so these were between around the range um, and the total budget of our project is around 8500 thank you <laughs>